very big hello to everyone who is in today. Thank you so much for sticking around. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for every little thing that you do for us. And we're back. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about versatility. What do you know about versatility? You are going to know. <laughs> yeah, the fact that you're in, you're tuned in, you are yet to know more about versatility. Now, versatility is basically being able to do very many other things. Like you have the skills to do very many other particular things and you turn from one thing to another with ease. You know? You can do this, you can do that, you can if you you, you have an office job, you have a, a, a side note business you you bake you cook you do photography that is what we mean by versatility the ability to do very many things that the you know much pressure the fact that you have very many skills you are capable of switching from one thing to another and another and be perfect at it and be good at it that is what we are talking about so ways okay like ways you can be more versatile Going to give you a few tips on how you can be more versatile yeah so tip number one is do it yourself yeah do it yourself of course it is you who knows what kind of things you like what kind of things work for you what kind of things you can do all of us know our ability we know as much like uh, how far we can stretch how many things we are capable of doing what things and sometimes we underestimate ourselves and sometimes we overestimate ourselves by pick on something that you do not know so much about but you have interest in could be baking could be photography could be music you know venture into something something that you know that with time i can actually you know enjoy and and love yeah when you do that you finally get you know like like you know the interest keeps coming and coming and coming and eventually you have an, an extra skill so yeah after of course you've identified something that you feel comfortable about something that you feel like okay when i try this i think i can come up with something that i can like way number two is invest in yourself because this is your interest yeah some of us have a super are willing to go all the way to invest in us and do things for us you know if you have that use it if you have the people who are willing to invest in you please do if you've decided to do say a baking something yeah get the equipment that you need um, equip yourself with a skill what do I need what do people who they do what do they use those kinds of things and be ready to go be ready to go with you know your skill someone who you think they do the things that you love and ask them to help you most of these things normally are free you find someone who is you know like free like, like you don't have to pay for their services you don't have to pay them for whatever it is you ask them to teach you whatever it is that you want to know so you find yourself a this person taking through whatever it is that you are trying to do. yes now after finding a mentor and your new way like bring your hobby to work that is another way yeah of like if you're home you, you you've learned you've equipped yourself with a baking skill why do you have to buy bread eh? when there are small small parties at home why do you have to have cake ordered somewhere else bring whatever your skill whatever you have learned whatever you've equipped yourself with to work you know make the cakes the bread tell those people at home ah, no 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 we're not going to spend more money in bread or you tell them you give me that money bread by the way yeah no that bread that money <laughs> yeah or you could tell them that money that you're going to pay to the cake person me you give me that money i promise i'll give yeah they, uh, uh, they, they might be having trust issues because of course they know you are trying you are learning it's a new skill and all but convince them to trust you you know for starters you can tell them okay i'll do this one free of charge just 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 trust me this one time and you know at least put yourself to work bring whatever skill you have learned to work let people see that oh, okay she's not wasting so much time on this thing she's actually learning something 
Now, the next way of art girl. Now, how do you challenge yourself? If you've been making these normal, normal cupcakes, you've been making those small, small things, you've been making, go out of your way to try something bigger. Like, you know what? Today, let me try a black forest. I will, if I die, I die. Just try it and see how it goes, you know? Keep challenging yourself because from this challenge, you learn to actually be a better person. You know, okay, I made this mistake here. I will not make it in this other this other other cake or whatever it is that you will be making next yeah so you challenge yourself to do things in a better way <laughs> that reminds me uh during lockdown you know we had so much time on our hands and there was so much going on so i told myself you know what let me try making i mean i mean what 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 could go wrong at all so i so yeah uh i i, I decided to try and bake get my information from, from YouTube and and I start to beg you guys. I didn't have an oven, I must say. So I implored the Sigiri and all and my first cake was good. Everyone was excited. Oh my god, Rachel cake, what what? We ate that cake. Guys I tried the second cake. It refused. The second cake refused. Meanwhile this second cake I took time and followed procedure. I tell my mix like this. I tell what guys it refused. I think the very first one, you know, the very first cake, I didn't follow anything, I just didn't like, just put everything in, eh, eh, eh. like, eh, but why? So my brother's birthday comes and I promise him I'm going to make him birthday cake and which I made the second cake, it refused, guys, I did not give up, I'm like, you know what, I will keep going. Like, that was not enough, but we bought an oven and <laughs> <laughs> the cakes refused, you guys, the cakes refused, until I, I did not give up. Yeah, that is that is also important. Like it's a skill. You have nothing to lose when you when you ha you you add it to your in normal circumstances. You'll say CV, but you know, like you equip yourself with something that 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 you know. Eventually, when I had all the equipment that I needed, I can bake. I can bake good cake. Uh, everyone at home knows. <coughs> my brother has been in my neighborhood, but now that I have that skill, I feel like yeah. another way is uh, make use of the resources at work or at home or the kids are things that are available, available for you yeah you may not have an oven uh, allow me use the baking example you may not have an oven use that sigiri use that charcoal stove you may not have all these other apps. do not limit yourself you do not have equipment you do not have what use what is available for you yeah so the other way is uh, ask your friends you can be overwhelmed at how much your friends know about this particular skill that you're trying to equip yourself with. When I was starting at Tano, I did not know I had friends who can do editing and all until I started and someone was about to do the editing for me. So yeah, go out to ask your friends, uh, what do you know about this? What do you know about that? When I was having cake issues, eh, I asked, I asked and asked until I was able to get the skill that I needed. So yeah, go out of your way and ask. Yes, then another way is volunteer for work you know when you volunteer often time you make yourself better because you're exposing yourself and trying to get to know you actually get to to make your skill better because you're trying out all these things yeah they may not be necessarily paying you for this work but you're equipping yourself with a skill and getting to know these things much better so yeah for volunteer as much as you can to the community those charity events be like you guys i'll do the cake for you you guys i'll take the pictures you guys and from these particular different different volunteering things that you're being a part of you are making yourself a better person and you know getting equipped and more equipped about the skill another way is, yeah so pitching for work is basically looking for the work like if there's anywhere you can do a, 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 a photography if there's anywhere you can do some baking if there's any, ask those guys to come you know tell them you guys i can offer those stuff he says i can do that kind of work please hire me yeah? pitch look for that work look for that work do all that work in the process you are being a versatile human being yes follow the fine that is another way follow the fine it's pointless for you sitting there yeah, and getting stuck on a skill that doesn't interest you, a skill that you don't enjoy, a skill that doesn't bring out the best in you. Yeah, find something that brings out the best in you, something that you love, something that inter interests you, something that brings out the happy person in you. Yeah, that is the kind of skill 
there's no point in you sitting there find something that brings, brings out the best in you something that you love something that interests you something that you're going to be comfortable with something that you want to go back to do tomorrow yeah do not sit there and hey, I can't do this like if it is ready let it go find something that you love something that you can actually do so yeah thank you so much for watching this video thank you for everything if you've not subscribed to the channel please do just hit the subscribe button and you are done Then for video we love you do not forget you are an amazing person you are unique yes you're an amazing person you are unique and you can do everything that you put your mind to we love you until next time so much time on this.